All right, here's the Magneto Speed V3. I just got in the other day. Um, I have a V2 as well, so I thought I'd just see what the difference is. And uh, this is a pre-production one, so it might be a little bit different than the production ones, but uh, here it is. So it's pretty much the same as the V2 as far as the case is laid. Out. It's laid out a little different. Um, the bayonet, you can see, is actually um, a composite circuit board type material. It has a stainless blast shield. Which is which is kind of nice. Um, same alignment rod, cable. Obviously, the the main head unit here is uh, quite different than the V2 and V1. Um, I really like it so far. So let's uh, get her mounted up. All right. So to get it mounted up, just like the V2, it has a little bit different buckle on it. And strap, but uh, it seems to work quite well. Obviously, on the suppressor, you can use this rubber little heat guard to go around it. But I'm just shooting. It's just a 204, and it uh, single shot. I'm not going to shoot it very fast. I did shoot it on the AR the other day, um, as fast as I could shoot it in semi-auto, and it uh, definitely warmed up to where it probably would have melted it if I didn't have it on there. But just for this purpose here, I'll I'll just uh, leave it off. So this, you just kind of pull that strap up. I start with a little bit angled, a little bit crooked. That way as I tighten it down, it, it kind of rolls around a little bit. Which of course this time it's not. It's gonna keep nice and straight, so. So it uh, seems to tighten up nicely. And then uh, you can tuck the strap in. There's a little slot on the other side of the that aluminum buckle. Keep it uh, out of the way of your scope or whatever else. So there's that. Uh, check it with the alignment rod. Right, uh, the top of the bar is right to the top of the or the bottom of the bore. So that looks great. And uh, this V3 has two ports on it. It has one on the back here. And it also has one underneath. So I noticed on this one I have to run the straight part of the plug underneath. On the back you could run the right angle or the straight part of it. Just for this I'll, I'll run straight off the back. And then uh, as soon as I connect it, it turns on. Default settings. I had, it, had the sensitivity up on high the other day playing with some 22s. So let me archive these. Just saves it to the SD card. And then uh, let me change it back just to normal sensitivity. So normal. And uh, ready to go. Let's shoot. All right, 3878 in that first one. A little bit off that one. 3848. So there's seven shots. Now, 
It's nice to show us the average, max, min. Um, I've got it set on extreme spread right now, which is showing 41. You can change that option right there between extreme spread and standard deviation. Um, there you go. Works awesome. So let me just shoot, uh, say three more. I'll make it an even 10. These are some loads that I made up which some with some uh, Hodgton H4895 and uh, 39 green Sierra Blitz Kings and uh, so far I'm liking them. It's fairly breezy today. I'm getting about 12 mile an hour gusts. Average about six miles an hour right now. Straight cross run from the left. All right, just ten shots. There you have it. I do like this new display. I think it's it's nice. It sits kind of back at about a 45 degree angle ish. And uh, I like the buttons now instead of the little rocker thing. I do think that's an improvement. I actually set down in there a little bit lower than I expected, but it's nice because um, it's still easy to push. So we can scroll back down through all our shots there. And the, the six is the series, so I've got five other series that I've archived to the card. And uh, let me do that just to show you. It's real easy. Archive series, success, press any button, ready to start again. So I, I think it's I think it's awesome. They've done a really nice job with their updates and uh, it just works every time. Well, there you go. There's the V3. Again, it's a pre-production model and I don't know what they're going to change, if anything the full production but uh, so far I'm very impressed with it as I was the V2 um, I think they've done an awesome job finding a, a niche that uh, has been needed I fought personally with myself with optical based chronographs that uh, just fought with uh, trying to line it up and get the right weather and sun and everything else so very impressed um, got it on my AR I don't know what kind of speeds the rapid fire mode will pick up. I think it's up to 1100 um, rounds per minute. And uh, obviously, just uh, semi auto here, so I'll just uh, shoot a few and see what it does. Average RPM 300, max RPM 333, and minimum 279. 26 shots detected. That's pretty slick.